When I started the project 40 years ago, it's 1980, I used to go to the villages every day. When I walk into the villages, you can see the open defecation both the sides on the road and footpath and so on. So practically, there was no toilet at all in any house. In 2012, our study report revealed that 72% of the people in rural area had no access to toilets. So my team went every day to the villages to build awareness about sanitation, the importance of building household toilets. It took seven long years and I'm happy today we have built 68,000 household toilets in the Nilgiris mountain. But my happiness disappeared to see that the fecal sludge uh, also dumped in the forest and river, which is waste and opportunification. In order to address this critical problem, we approached one organization called Waste based in the Netherlands. With the help of Waste, we built two fecal sludge treatment plants, one in Keti and another one is Adhikaretti. The black water or the fecal sludge which is collected from the households is brought to the fecal sludge treatment plant here at this resource recovery park and the dry fecal sludge is incorporated along with the wet organic waste uh, at the ratio of uh, 2080 and uh, the co-compost is uh, prepared. Very uh, promising thing is the co-compost which is uh, produced has got good welcome from our vegetable growing farmers. They have expressed that there is an increase in yield to about 15 to 20 percent and thereby there is an increase in income for the households which is also impacting on the livelihoods. Certain community were hesitant to use the co-compost because the way it was produced. After seeing the increase of yield because of usage of co-compost, the farmers came forward to adopt the secular economy model. Now I am very proud and happy to see the villages are clean. I can freely walk into the villages because no open defecation. The quality of life of the people have improved now. <laughs>